Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three of the same topic that is sets. So in that we'll see the types of sets. So the types of sets that will be only covered in this for the grade seven and in this particular topic. So there are many types from that we'll cover whatever is in this topic. So now they said here the what do you mean by the finite set? So this finite and infinite set. So now let us see first for the finite set. So a set is said to be finite. So finite means what? If it is a, it has limited number of elements in it. Finite means it has limited number. So for example, this is a is set of whole numbers. You know the whole numbers always start with zero. Zero, this O stands for this zero, one, two, three. And the natural numbers always start with one. So this is just a revision. So the set of whole numbers between five and ten is a finite set because it's between five and ten. So or we can this write as B is equal to a, X is to X. This says belongs to N and the natural numbers and X is less than or equal to five. Less than means it's given it can be zero because it's a natural number it will be one two three four it will be less than five so we know it's exactly this numbers that is it should be one two three four so that is a limited number so we can say this is a finite set and here the infinite set is set is said to be infinite if it has unlimited number of elements in it so now can you see here this i this is set of integers and always the set we write it in a curly brackets so here dot 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 means here there are so many numbers here on this side this is zero on on this are all the negative numbers and after this one all here the positive numbers so that is unlimited so infinite means the unlimited number of elements whenever dot is there and you can write a b is equal to x is to x that is here belongs to w whole numbers because why we say whole numbers here and here the natural numbers because here it starts with one and here it starts we have also zero in it so belongs to w and x is greater than or equal to seven means it can be it will start with equal to seven means it will start with seven and it will go on hope this is clear so this is unlimited we can call this as unlimited now empty set or the null set a set in which has no element in it is called empty or it is also called as the null set. So the symbol, this one of empty set, we can just write uh, it in a curly bracket and nothing in it. Or this is called, this is called a file. So you can say that is PHI, that is file. Then the single turn set. A set is said to be single turn if it has only one element in it. So can you see? It can be any uh, this one, but only one element in it. So that is called a singleton set. Disjoint sets, two or more are said to be disjoint if they have no elements in common. So now you can see the example after looking at the example that will be more clear. Set A is 1, 2, 3 and B is 8, 9, 10. So you can see these numbers are also different and these numbers are also different. They are equal, but they are different. So we can say this is 1, 2, 3 and this is 8, 9, 10. These are called the disjoint sets. Overlapping sets. So two or more sets are said to be overlapping set if they have at least one element in common. Means there can be more than one, but at least one should be in common. So we can say that is the overlapping set. Now set A is given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set B is given as 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now what is our overlapping sets? Why? Since they have elements we can see 3, 4, 5 here as here also 3, 4, 5. So because here now so we can call this as now see we can draw these two circles and whatever is in the middle these are the common elements. So these are called the overlapping sets. So even if here there is one number suppose now it is only just 3. So that is also overlapping. So it can it can have at least one it can be more than one also but it should be at least one so equal sets two sets are to be equal if they have the same elements that is each and every element of one set is equal to the that of the other set now see here if set a is two four six 
and b is x is true x is will be 2n and n is less than or equal to 3 and that will be n belongs to n that is the natural numbers so suppose here now less than or equal to 3 means it can be 1 2 3 because equal to means 3 also should be included so now when we are, when we put here this is 2n 2n means 2 into 1 that is going to be 2 2 into n will be 2 that is going to be 4 then 2 into 3 that is going to be 6 so we can write that the a and b have the same elements that is 2 4 6 and equal number of elements so here it's given directly 2 4 6 but this here is given in the form of this but it shows when this this one we put the value values over here when it says n is less than or equal to 3 that means here you are going to put 1 then you will put here 2 n is 2 and n is 3 and multiply and see so as i showed you now so you get 2 4 6 so we can say then these are equal sets so 2 4 6 they are equal number of elements equivalent sets now see here equal sets this is equal set and this is the equivalent set so now look at here two sets are said to be equivalent if they have only equal number of elements in them only the element should be equal not the number this one the element should be equal means if it is here two three four in one thing the other should be how many elements are here one two three and here it can be anything it can be even abc but there are three elements in it. so the, there should be equal number of elements in it here the two four six two four six this were common in the equal sets and here the elements are equal hope you got this the difference between the equal sets and the equivalent sets So the year it was the same elements and the equal number of elements. So it, because these are three, so equal number. So it says the same elements means two, four, six is the same, and equal number of elements means there are only three elements in it. Here only the number of the elements will be same. So that here also three. So here also same. So can you see here? This is a is equal to x y z and b is equal to one two three. Hope this is clear with this one. So these are few types of the sets so now let us see with the exercise that is 6.2 is given here we will do the few examples now and then the next video we can continue with the rest of the problems now now write the cardinal number of each of the following sets so here now see here e is given as the set of prime numbers between between 3 and 12 so what will be there you know the prime numbers which are not divisible by any number so here what will you do the prime number here uh, 3 we have to write in between so we are not going to include 3 so after 3 will be the prime number is going to be 5 then 7 and 11 so there are 3 uh, here so what are you going to write this this is e so n of e when, because that is a cardinal number so we can write here n of e means total how many elements are here this will be 3 so we can write n of 3 n of e is 3 a is equal to set of days in march so you know uh, total like you know in january the, this march and all things wherever there are wherever there are uh, january february march till december so you know your how many other uh, days are there in some you have 30 you have 31 so now set of days in march so in march you can check so we have 31 days so we can say because they want all the days in march n of a because this is a so we can write n of a is 31 the number what is there so that will be 31 so g is f x of x is to x is the cube of n n belongs to n so the cube of n means now n belongs to n and n is less than or equal to 4 so it can be 1 2 3 4 and it says that belongs to n means the natural number so 0 we don't have to include zero we have to start with one because the natural numbers always start with one so now see here you can see wherever there is mentioned and the natural numbers and whole numbers so you have to be very careful the whole numbers again i'll repeat that starts with zero and the natural numbers start with one so now this will be less than one means we can say here g is one cube because cube of one this n so one cube two cube two cube third three cube four cube because we have to include is equal to means we have to include 4 as well so that will be 1 cube will be 1 2 cube is going to be 8 
3 cube means you have to multiply that many times that is going to be 27 and 4 cube is going to be 4 into 4 into 4 that will be 64. So now what you can see we want the cardinal numbers how many numbers are here so how many here we have 1 2 3 4 so we'll write the n of g that is 4 hope this is clear. Now here c is equal to x is to x that also here belongs to n and n is less than 5. So whenever they say less than 5 because there is, there is no equal to sign. So what we have to do we don't have to include 5 in it. So we can say because that are the natural numbers. So again the 0 is not here. So be careful with this one. You have to check whether this is n or this is w. Otherwise the answer might the answer will change. So here it is less than 5 means it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. We don't have to include 5 in it. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So that C is 1, 2, 3, 5, always in a curly bracket. So N of C, that is the 4. How many elements here? 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now D is equal to set of letters in the word amazing. So first thing what you are going to do, you are going to write that in a set form. So amazing means we don't have to repeat the letters. So what we can see here, A is repeating. So that should not be repeated. So if you repeat it, you are going to get this wrong. So be careful with this one. So A, M, Z, I, N, G. So A should not be repeated. So we are just writing it once. So now we are going to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you include that A, you are going to get 7 and which is wrong. So N of D is 6. F is X is to X. That belongs to Z. And minus 5 is less than X is less than 3. So now you know this will be that all the integers z means all the integers means the positive as well as whenever the z this is the integers so you know that whenever the integers are we have to include the zero then the negative integers and the positive integers so here but they said minus five we have to start with minus five minus five Uh, sorry, we have to write the minus 4 also. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, my yes, so it should be minus 5. But it also sorry, it will be in between this one. Na? So uh, we don't have to include minus 5, we will include your minus 4. Okay, uh, because in between this one minus 5 is less than, uh, so this will be x is less than 3. So minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. So this two, uh, total should be, uh, see again I will repeat it, minus 5 is less than x is less than 3. So we don't have to take these two numbers in between that numbers, whatever that, that is going to be minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, this 0, because this will be from 0 to this will be, yeah, you can see if you are confused with this one, you can go like this, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. We don't have to include that minus 5. And from here, because it is less than 3. So, one day that will be 1 and 2. So, because this is Z, means all the, this one. So, these are the negative integers. These are the positive integers. And also, you have to include 0 in it. So, this total will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, N of F is going to be 7. So, by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.